for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Hmm. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. All right, here we go. Red Dead Redemption 1. I just got done playing the second game as well. Um, I actually started playing the first, or the second game, uh, before I, the rumors even started. With the remaster, well, this is a remaster, but you know, rumors started they were putting this on the PlayStation. This guy. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Hello. Let's get this done quick. Follow Jake to the horses. Let's go get our trusty steed, eh? Go. You ain't gonna find 30 of horses and these in all of New Orleans. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Go. 
kind of crazy because I just got done playing the second one, right? And so now, looking at this game, it's like a whole new perspective. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream. Armadillo. I played a little bit of this game, but I don't remember too much of it. I never finished it. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Yeah, I was playing Red Dead uh, 2, and I didn't even know they were going to put this on a PlayStation, and all of a sudden rumors just started showing up they are going to put this on a PlayStation. A pleasant little coincidence. Looks pretty good, but clearly dated. $50, that's just insane. What a scam. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Fort Mercer. think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me? 
You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I... I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor John. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. Just pulling up a pistol, like at a fort like that, with a whole bunch of guns pointed down on you while you're white out in the open how did you think that was going to go buddy? cool little train the graphics are dated but still pretty satisfying not fifty dollars for satisfying but satisfying Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living I see Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Don't be like me, kids, and be part of the problem. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so we're going to the horses. Fantastic. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy dun, dun, dun. with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on then. I'll show you around the property. Come on. All right, so we're just going on a little tour of the of the ranch, the ranch town. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't general think I've ever store. seen a ranch with its own store before. Well, I like how this one's more of a desert aesthetic. The western forest was cool, but you can never go wrong with the western desert. Think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Outlaw life. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Five thousand dollars for horses. Like is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Go. Yeah, seriously. Change is only good when it makes things better. I don't have time to be waiting around. I got caught behind a tree. Hold on. That's the horse the mechanics are way easier in this yeah, one than in the second. Ooh. Oh. That's like a way off course. Let's go. Yeah. Here we are, back at the, house. the horse mechanics in the slave oh, are a bit of a nightmare. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Whoa there. <laughs> yeah, hitch the horse. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. Go to Bounty Souls. Hey Bounty. How about With them drink, bell pants. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. Repeater carbine. Okie dokie. Um... The moon. We got half moon. Don't gotta worry about werewolves. <laughs> Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. <laughs> Voice that comes with Undead Nightmare too. That was like a golden DLC. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. A feminine intuition. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on Undead Nightmare. I'm gonna hammer, finish this please. first, but definitely gonna be hopping on Nightmare at some point in the future. No, what are you doing? That was a hitch, not hop the fence.
It would appear so. City, become a lady of leisure. Look out, Kaya! Harder said than done, you know. Oh, I shot the chicken. Get him. Actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Marston. After playing the second game, it's like, yeah, this has been through some shit. You can definitely handle them, so. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. 